Okay, guys, I'm here today with David Petroni and Vinci Petroni, dad and son. Huge honor for me. Guys, uh, David is a catch wrestling, wrestling and jiu-jitsu expert. And uh, we were just talking about that here. I love like uh, when, when, we, when we can talk about like uh, not only jiu-jitsu, but when you can mix like catch wrestling, wrestling yes. and jiu-jitsu. And I think this is what you're a specialist for, right? Yes, uh -huh. we like yeah. to mix it up for sure. There you go. So guys, Dave is going to show us here uh, his cradle that he, it's his best move going to the leg locks. So can you, can you demonstrate? Yes. Kind of so um, like I say, uh, you know, we're five instructionals deep here with uh, at BJJ Fanags and thank you very much. Thank you, um, so, but this last one that we're getting ready to um, release focuses on using the cradle position as a, like a headquarters or a, a check as everyone compares this to chess. Um, it's a check position. We wait for the reaction and then we use a positive control setup to fall back and attack the legs, which yep. is really unexpected coming from such a dominant, you know, wrestling control. Yep. So can you, can you show? Yeah, for sure. All right, Vinny. So, um, well, we have a couple different entries, uh, spin, then shoom. This way they can kind of catch everything. So, um, what we like to do is, like I was saying earlier, we ride a little different. I'm not down here where I'm putting a lot of stress. If Vince wants to flex and bust out, it's really easy for him. So what we like to do is kind of circle around and get up. We want to be like a backpack, um, strong, because a good jiu-jitsu guy is going to want to shrimp, turn, face me, frame, push away, right? They want to create space. That's the last thing that I want. So I like to get tight and low down behind the back of his shoulder and drive forward with my chest. I'm on my um, knees right now because I'm just talking to you guys. But when I get ready to go, I jump on my toes. I use all that live toes in the mat, driving pressure to really make this guy uncomfortable where he wants to escape. He just wants to bust out. So I lock this up really good. And then I start to mess with them. You got to get in their head a little bit because some guys aren't threatened by this bunch. But once you start to make them uncomfortable, you'll get a reaction out of them. So I like to drive forward, really put myself over this guy. I walk forward and I want to collect this leg. I show, I, I want to holster this tight, right? So when they start to move, when he wants to turn and frame, he's going to try and shoot his hips out. I just want to hold tight here. And I let him almost push me backwards. When they do, I want to step. I stomp hard on the hip. As he starts to come up, I can get his attention here with this like Apache knee bar. I want to push hard and he'll tap. If they don't, he's going to try to come up and get after my back. That is just traditional. I want to shoot my butt out. Boom. Punch through. Straight ankle. Classic catch, you know. Um, but if it's not enough, I'll fall back here and get the heel, set it tight, and pop it. Yeah. Oh, David, and the, I mean, for those who are completely beginners, doesn't even know what's the cradle. So anytime you control the upper body and the leg, yes. and you lock your hands, mm -hmm. that's the cradle. 100%. And then you can do that for many different positions. Absolutely. And this one that you're doing starts from the side control. Yes. Um, we have different ways that we kind of catch the cradle, lay down many. So um, without trying to, I don't want to get too far off track. But we do things differently, Bernardo. I ride different. My side control, this is not my side control. Okay. Although you probably recognize this, traditional jiu-jitsu, correct? So I like to resort, um, or I resource a, uh, a folk style, like peating position. I wanna get down, I drive heavy chest to chest. That way I can control this guy. And I, I we ride at a little bit of a different angle. This is cool because of the trend. We were doing this way before, but um, uh, the buggy choke, uh, fly trap, all that stuff. If you're here, you're subject to you're all of that. Yeah, I got so it. we ride different. It's I ride like here. Being the diagonal. Uh huh. At a different 45. Okay. Instead of being here and struggling with this guy, we change it, and I can govern the legs. I can keep the pressure, and like I say about collecting the cradle, we'll fake them out. I got it. How many times the guys, they put the triangle there or even just traditional guys will put that knee up. Yep, yep. So I'll use it against them. I collect it. I got it. And I lock it up. 
Oh, yeah. Put a bunch of pressure. And then in order to go to the leg lock, all you have to do is apply this leg over here. Yes. To and start getting... In a, in a, um, maybe some guys will think, oh, oh, your foot's vulnerable. But it's not because if he grabs, I'm gone. Okay. Okay. No, man, Punch through. Cool. And you can take what submission you want. No, that's amazing. So this is like cradle to leg locks. And yes. The, and you have an entire structure about that, right? Yes, it's getting ready to come out. We're almost done with it. Um, but that's what we're here to do today yep. is to demonstrate what's coming. No, I, mean, I really like it. And the, uh, I like how like, because you we don't see many jiu-jitsu guys take advantage of the cradle. Right. And it's something that the catch wrestlers do like over and over and over, right? Correct. But um, even that, um, it's just a hold at that point. Yeah. What we've done to it is we've added a threat. Um, we've weaponized it and, and added whatever submission you're comfortable with. Good. If and, you're a rubber guard, yeah, right? And then it applies to whatever kind of system or style that you play. Let's say that you play head or you fight with the legs or you or fight with the arm. It really gets you to be able to just go into whatever system you choose. Yeah, it's like a headquarters position. And if the guy's trying to, um, here, headquarters position, um, everybody, a lot of guys have seen this one, you know. So I'm here and I'm, I have my cradle locked up. Vince is trying to flex and bust out, right? And I can feel him going. Maybe my arm's not strong enough, his leg's big. But when I, I play off of this reaction, when he's like, push him, push him, I'll pop, grab the chin, right? I wanna push, drive, get over the bulldog choke. You got it, no, that's incredible. Yeah, so guys, uh, David just uh, is showing an entire structure all about how to go to cradles, to leg locks. And uh, it's gonna be at bggfanatics.com very soon. Maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So thanks so much for being oh, here. Oh man, really I really appreciate, appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you Bernardo. Bernardo. This was so cool. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.